morning, how are you feeling this morning? I hope you've had a terrific weekend and you're feeling in tip top shape, ready for some news today. Not sure it's gonna be the earth shattering news that we're all hoping for, but hopefully the way to uh, a little bit of normality uh, is on its way. So we're just gonna keep active, we're gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep you going with some classes this week, hopefully get those endorphins racing, making you feel good because that's what exercise is all about. I say it again and again, week after week. Set yourself a performance goal and the rest will follow. It's not just about weight loss. It's not just about pounding the pavement. It's not just about getting a sweat on. All those things are great, don't get me wrong, but it's about feeling good. It's about movement. It's about making ourselves feel happy. Yeah, making ourselves feel like we've done something good. So this morning I've got a circuit for you. It's eight exercises, as usual, in rotation. We're gonna do each one three times over. We're gonna work at our maximum effort so that we feel like we're really, really getting those endorphins racing. And we're gonna feel the benefit of this 24 hours later, okay? So there's a whole range of exercises which will cover a range of muscle groups as well. I'm gonna work my way through. We're gonna start with the legs, then we're gonna to move to arms, then a full body, and we're gonna rotate like that, okay? Have some water at your disposal. Make sure that you're not doing this if you are feeling unwell at all. Obviously, I'm not there to have a look at you or if you have any injuries, it's your discretion, okay? We'll start with the warm-up before we actually get into the main body of exercises. So get yourself a glute band if you've got one. If you haven't, you can do some dynamic stretches on the floor. It's not a problem. I'm just gonna pop this around my calves. I'm gonna start with some hip abductions. Take your leg out to the side, it's open with those hips, we're gonna do this 10 times. Oh, I've got slippy legs. Keep that resistance. Sounds better. Squeeze. Two more. And then on number 10, I'm gonna hold it. One, two, three, Woo. Okay, see the other side. Hope your weekend's been good. We've been keeping active. I've been so busy at the moment during the week that Sunday has inadvertently become my rest day. And yet, I still managed to get about 12,000 steps in yesterday. <laughs> so not much of a rest. Hold it, one, two, three. Okay, we're gonna bring that down now into a banded march, hello. Hi Emily, hope you're doing good. I'm gonna pop that over the tops of your feet. You need to hold on to something that's fine. And then all you're gonna do is raise the knee up, bring that band with it, and as you come back down, keep your leg off the floor, squeeze. Don't put that foot back down. That's seven, eight, nine, and then on number 10, we're gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna hold it there. One, two, three. Okay, spin yourself around. Two. Almost there. Last one, here we go, hold it. One, two, three, and release, good. Okay, that's our hips sorted out. I'm gonna come down to the floor. I'm gonna come onto all fours. I'm gonna do some glute kickbacks, okay? You're gonna bring your knee into your chest, kick all the way back, feel that stretch. I've said this before, always start with your dynamic stretches. Leave your maintenance and your developmental stretches for the end of your workout, because otherwise you're gonna lengthen your muscles before you start to actually exercise, and you don't wanna do that, because that's when you get injured. Swap sides.
Okay, whilst we're down on all fours, we're going to stretch out our shoulders a little bit. We're doing a full body today. Bring one arm underneath, all the way up to the side. Threading the needle. Keep that movement nice and fluid. One big swoop of the arm. Try not to bend your elbow. Last one on that side. Okay, let's switch. We usually are kind of least flexible in the morning and then it goes back the same way towards the late evening. So this kind of stretching is great, especially if you sit at a desk or you're at a computer or you're driving for a living. Okay, last one. I'm gonna come up into a high plank and then all you're gonna do is bring yourself down to a cobra position. Gonna move my mat back a little bit. I've got new gym floor in it, it's so slippy. It's <laughs> better. Feel that stretch all the way down the backs of your legs. Keep that movement fluid. How are we feeling? Ready to go? Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the clock going. First exercise is going to be a goblet squat. So use what you have. Don't worry if you don't have a proper weight. Just hold a bottle of water. We can always add a pulse. We're going to get a pad down. Here we go. Are we ready? Keep that head and chest up. Core nice and tight. Down we come. First set, I'm just going to do as a normal squat, just to warm myself up. Those hips should be feeling nice and warm after those banded stretches. Keep working. You're doing really well. Keep that chest up, core tight. Okay, that's round one down. Are we ready to make it a bit harder? I'm going to move my mat out of the way. This time I'm going to add a pulse. I'm just going to grab some water. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Squeeze that core. One, two, three, four, five. And up. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. Keep that chest up, pull tight. Drive those heels through the floor. Keep working. Good job. Smashed it, okay. So for this last one, we're going to make it a tempo squat. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it a really slow descent. We're going to count to five on the way down. Then we're going to hold it and then we're going to come straight back up again. Right. Are we ready? Here we go. So nice, slow descent. Three, four, five. Hold it. Squeeze. And up. Now you're really going to feel those quads working, especially if you don't have a weight at your disposal. And up, good. This is a really, really great opportunity, I've said this before, to work on your mobility. Because a squat is only a squat if you can really achieve that depth with the weight that you are lifting. Otherwise you don't own it, right? I believe that. So, 
having the tempo, having the pulse, adding those without the weight gives you a chance to really look at your technique and the way that you're doing it. Okay, three sets down. We're gonna do an Arnold press. We're gonna do it standing, okay? Knuckles outwards, not ideal with these. Here we go. So for this one, I start here, twist, push up. Okay, I'm gonna to have to do this and make sure that I don't poke myself in the eye. Keep that core tight, really drive up. Bring those knuckles facing outwards. Good. This is why we're really grateful for having done those threading the needles at the start, just opening up those shoulders. Twist. Smashed it, well done. Okay, so it's all in the twist. Try and make it into a nice fluid motion rather than a twist, then a lift. It's all one, okay? So all the way up and then all the way back down like that. Okay, how are we feeling? Let's see if any of you online. I hope you're planning to do this later. Here we go. Nice exhale as you come down. Up nice and explosive. I'm doing such a high number of repetitions. I like to keep my weights like nice and low. working guys you're doing really really well all the way down feel that cause the core through you Smashed it. Okay, six rounds down. Can you believe it? Six out of 24. Still got a long way to go, so don't peek too soon. Okay, right. Next one, as I said, we're going to do a reverse lunge with a plate. You can use anything for this bag of sugar, water bottle, whatever you like. I'm just make my way. Here we go. I'm going to alternate my legs. I'm going to keep my core tight and my chest up. One, two. See how I'm coming down? Nice and straight. about what kind of depth you're achieving here, it will come. What I don't want you to do is sort of collapsing on the floor after each rep. Keep the momentum. Three, two, one. Good. Well done. Really good. Just grab some water if you need to. It's getting quite hot in here. Ben Sound for providing the royalty free music. If anyone's got any other ideas, I'm getting a bit bored. But whenever I use commercial music for these things, Instagram likes to switch me off. So I'm just playing it safe. If anyone knows of any nice wooden composers with a quality bit of workout hip hop, I would love to hear from you. Two, one. Okay, one more of those. Woo, that's tough. 
you want to make it harder, if you do it like an overhead squat, please leave it above your head. Keep it there. Can we do that one? Should we do that one next? Let's do it. I'm feeling it this morning. Here we go. Woo! Those of you who like pay any attention to my Instagram stories, I was feeling lousy on Saturday. Just had enough. Everything was annoying me. I was like, get the kids back to school, had enough, can't stand this any longer. And I went to bed really early. And I slept for about 10 hours. And I woke up like a different person on Sunday morning. Never underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. If you've lost perspective, get some rest. Because you probably need it. Woo. Whoa, okay, how are we doing? Right, next one. We are gonna do leg exercise, stiff leg. Okay, stiff leg deadlift. I'm gonna keep those dumbbells nice and close to you. You can have a slight bit of flexion at the knee, and then you kind of come all the way over. I'm not gonna bend them anymore. Feel that down the back of your legs and those hamstrings and those calves, and then come straight back up again. If you're not feeling the stretch down the back of your legs, the chances are you're bending your knees. Okay, here we go. Keep them nice and close. Just go as far as is possible for you. A lot of this will depend on your own range of movement, your own mobility. Create that tabletop, keep your chest up, look forward and up. All the way over, hip hinge. Good. And up. Okay, I'm going to change positions just so you can see me a little bit better. It's all in the hips. Okay? So keep those dumbbells as close as possible. Here we go. Are we ready? Nice deep breath. Ready to work. Two, one. All the way over. Look at my hips. Hips back first. Stretch. And come up. You can see my hand is working. right the way over than to do that, which it sort of defeats the object of the exercise, is that you, you really want to feel this all the way down the backs of your legs. Two, one, I got core tight, hang on, smash this. Okay, we've got one more round, what's our next one? We're going to do a bent over row, okay? Right, go do. Nice to see you this morning. I'm feeling really good. Okay. Hips back. Push, 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 push. Hips, hips, hips. Create that hinge and up. Good. Feel those hamstrings working. All the way. Squeeze. And up. Great. Okay. Right. Next exercise. Bent over row. If you've got a bar, great. If you haven't, a couple of dumbbells. Or you can use kettlebells for this. It's not a problem. Whatever you've got. And we're going to be in the sort of bent over position. Like so. Bend at the legs. Head and chest up. And then row back. Squeeze. Two. Three, four, bring those shoulder blades back together. Just keep that core nice and tight. It's a row, so you don't want your elbows too flared out of the sides. You're gonna squeeze those blades back together. I always say to my clients when they're doing this, imagine you've got a pair of wings. You're just gonna bring them in, draw them back together. Squeeze, squeeze. Two, one. Oh, I'm loving 
Dennis this morning. Hi, 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 hi. Nice to see you. Right, I'm going to grab a bar for this next step, just to kind of demonstrate. I always say to people, if you want to just practice technique, grab yourself a broom handle. You could do a lot worse. Are we ready? Squeeze. What I like about doing this with a bar is just how much closer I can get it to my body. My spin lock dumbbells make it a little bit awkward, which is why I say to you, if this is an exercise that you struggle with, and I have a lot of um, clients who for some reason want to twist their wrists when they do this, like over like that, and um, use a broom handle just to practice. Draw those wings in, draw those shoulder blades back together, really squeeze as you come up. Almost there. Three, two, one. The other variation that you can do if you've got, say for instance, you've got a couple of water bottles or using a couple of tins or something, you can do a palm spacing. So you do that kind of row. So I'll do that one for the third set. We're on round 15, guys. Round 15 of 24. Smashing it. Are we ready? Here we go. So it's still a row. I'm just holding them at the side. It's a little bit, actually, a little bit less cumbersome if, you, if you've got spin lock dumbbells. I am so going to invest in some really nice hexagonal dumbbells at some point or other, but for now, they do the job. Almost there. Got a really lively one coming up. I hope you're ready for this. Smash it. Okay, right. So now you're onto full body. We've done the legs, we've done the arms, full body. So the next one is a dumbbell snatch with a walkout. Okay, so I'm going to put my mat over here. I'm not ready. Here we go. So I'm just going to snatch those dumbbells up. Nice and explosive all the way up. Do about six of those. And then we're gonna walk out over the top, right the way out and back. Add a little jump if you want. How long are you feeling this morning? Two. Keep working guys, you're doing really well. snatches in. Yeah, that's a good distribution hour up here. 10 snatches, four walkouts with a jump. Okay, one more of those. Have we got it in us? How are we feeling? Give me a thumb if you're okay, surviving. Probably should have opened the window. Here we go. One. Well done. 
Okay, so I'm gonna move those to one side, no rest for me. I'm gonna move my bench over here. Okay. So this one, I'm gonna have my back resting on here. I'm gonna put my weight. Okay, I'm going to drive my feet through the floor, I'm going to keep my chin tucked in, drive up, feel those glutes working, two, three, squeeze, squeaky mat, sorry, normal bit squeeze those glutes if you can't feel your glutes but you're feeling your hammocks it could be that your feet are too far away I just need to bring those heels in towards your bum and rest okay we've got one more set though if you you know want to work your glutes at home you don't really have any weights the sofa tends to be quite a good height for those and what you can do is do it as a single leg version so you've got one leg out and one knee bent I do them all the time, such a good exercise. And frankly, I'll do it now. And you don't actually need to have a weight to make that effective. Come way up. Three. Four, squeeze. Five, let's swap the sides. Drive that heel through the floor. One more. I'm gonna have to even them out. That's it. That's the other one. Woo. Fantastic job. Okay. Really good. You're working really hard this morning. I am sweating. Okay. Last one we're gonna do is a core trio before we finish. And we'll stretch off properly. So bring yourself onto your mat for this. We're gonna start in a high plank position. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to bring your knees down to the floor but they're not going to touch squeeze that core all the way up push those heels back through the floor knees down don't touch the floor and back up squeeze that core tight nice and controlled don't do this too fast knees down don't touch back up push those heels through the floor Good. Three, two, one more. One. Smashed it. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is a bicycle crunch. Oh, I'm a bit red faced, huh? Okay. <laughs> Knees at right angles, hands on your temples. I'm going to come in, backwards and forwards. Three, two, one. Squeeze, squeeze those abs. Don't put any pressure on your temples, you don't want to be dragging your neck up, it's just a gentle hold. In and out, good job, keep working. Okay, 
And the last one we're gonna do is a dead bug. So for that one, you're gonna have your knees in a similar position at a right angle. You're gonna take one arm back, one leg out. So your arms are gonna be up like this. Squeeze that core nice and tight. Three, two, one. All the way back. Don't touch the floor. Keep that foot off the floor. Back in. Give yourself plenty of space to do this. A bit like swimming. Once you get the coordination, it's easy peasy. Then you can really focus on those abdominal muscles, especially the lower ones. Fully stretch out that leg. Feel them working. Awesome job, 24 rounds. For those of you who did all 24, I salute you. Okay, let's stretch off because we worked really hard this morning. Okay, we're gonna start with our quads first of all. So we'll start with a lying quad stretch because I don't find that I get a deep enough stretch when I do that one. So you're gonna lie on your front and bring your quads up. You're gonna bring your heels into your bottom. If you can do both at once, save you a bit of time. Hold it there, feel that stretch. Ooh. Wow, that was a really good circuit this morning. I felt like we'd worked super hard. Okay. When you feel like you've stretched that out, you're gonna bring yourself up into a pigeon stretch. You're gonna bring one leg underneath you, and then you're just gonna gently take yourself forward. Don't force it, a stretch should never be painful. Just want to feel that hip flexor stretch out after those squats at the beginning. I think probably did a number on me with the overhead lunges as well. They were really good. Okay. And the other side. Hopefully you're feeling good right now. You've got the endorphins racing. Breathing, starting to go back to normal. Feel that stretch on the inner part of your thigh here. If you want to deepen that a little bit, just walk yourself forward. And back up. If you've got more time, please do take a little bit more time to stretch at the end of your workout. I'm just doing, brushing through these quite quickly. Okay, and then we're going to stretch off our triceps, so palm onto your back, just going to push down on your elbow, really gently, and the other one. Take your arms out in front of you, stretch that out, and then take them all the way behind you. Stretch the shoulders back. Great job, guys. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's always a pleasure. Um, I feel like I'm on it this week. I think we're gonna, we're gonna smash it. I think everybody needs it, frankly. So I'm gonna work really hard to keep you all upbeat and smiling. And make sure you drink plenty of water today. Get some um, active recovery in there, plenty of steps, okay? We've done our hard work for today. But keep yourself moving, because that's really important for your mental health as much as anything. As I say, plenty of water. Thank you so much for joining me. If there's anything you need, drop me a DM. They're always open. I'd love to hear from you. Stay safe and fingers crossed. See you soon.